Hey, my super beautiful, lovely, gorgeous souls, welcome. Today I've got sort of a pick either card here. This is gonna be sort of for an old flame type energy or a past lover type energy. Like if your ex is trying to come back to you, it could be your twin flame trying to come back or any other soul level connection person trying to come back. Like you've recently connected with this person, you know, you're feeling lots of things, you're just confused, you're not sure which way this is going to go. We're gonna cover that today with these two cards here. I'd like you to choose one or two, one or two, and I will leave timestamps. You can certainly watch both messages. We're going to pull lots of different things in here, okay? Uh, we'll talk about what the context of this relationship is. Can you trust it? Can you trust it again? And what will be sort of like the final outcome? Maybe some energy you need to put in into it, into it, or they need to put into it, or sort of what's what from this situation. All right, so let's get into it. We're going to start with this card one. So we've got the microphone. The microphone is about expressing yourself, about saying what you really want, saying your truth, saying your 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 exact truth in the exact right moment, wanting to sort of be heard and feeling like what you have to say is super important. So I also feel like this is sort of someone reaching out to want to speak to you as well, sort of handing you the opportunity to say what you want to say. So I feel like you know, if you're in separation with somebody and you haven't had a chance to sort of say your piece, I feel like that's what this is about. I also feel like they want to say their piece to you. So if that's been done, what's next? I feel like you both have a lot to say. And I feel like it's one of those things where you will exchange fair conversation. It won't be one-sided. But I also feel like the feelings are mutual and they're a lot more light. They're lighthearted, I feel like, in this particular connection. They're more lighthearted feelings. I feel like this person wants to give you the opportunity to say what you need to say. And I'm also hearing from the spirit, don't hold back because you may never get another chance to do this again. And it's important. You may get lots of chances to continue to talk to this person. To me, this feels though, whatever you've been harboring or something deep down that needs to come out to this person and vice versa for them as well. They're gonna, I feel like, say a lot to you or have a lot to say to you as well, okay? So let's see like around this connection, what was sort of like the past? When you were connected to this person, what was the past like with this person? We've got queen of emotions. So you felt very emotionally connected to this person. When you split up, it was not without difficulty. I feel like it really hurt you and on a deep level. I feel like you're very empathic, kind, loving, nurturing, all those things. That was the attraction. This person was attracted to you for these reasons. Because you were the go-to person for sort of nurture and empathy and sympathy and they know that you have this good 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 um sort of secret supply of this that you only share with people that you really care about and they really appreciate that they're really thinking of you in this energy still okay let's see what else we've got oh we got the lovers they still want you they still want to be with you they still want to be sexual with you they're still sexually attracted to you they're every attracted to you physically mentally emotionally they're attracted to everything about you this is a sure sign that you're being given a chance to start again with this person we'll see if any other energies come up that we need to know about we will ask but this is sort of a sure sign also means that it's enough or a significant amount of healing has been done it also means a choice you could currently be with somebody right now and you might have to make the choice to leave that person and try again with this person or they may have to do that. They may have to leave somebody and trust it to try want to try again with you. Yeah, and we've got a lot to say, see? A lot to say here. There's stuff from the past that needs to come out that hadn't. There wasn't like an opportunity to say it or do it. I feel like it's coming. I also feel like this person is very intellectual and they're very, um, I, not really opinionated, but once they form an opinion, once they get something in their mind, that's sort of it for them. So you could bump heads on a few things, but I feel like overall, this is going to be very warm and welcoming. And I feel like they're going to want, they're going to want you or they, you've already talked and they do want, they've made it clear to you that they want you. So you might be confused on what to do next. 
I feel like this is sort of a take action, but more like verbal stuff. I feel like you guys really got to clear things up. You really have to sort of verbalize your wants and needs to one another. And we've got the moon. So there could have been a little deception surrounding this. A little bit of uncertainty. A little bit of illusions and delusions. A little bit of fear. A little bit of not knowing. That's all surrounding this. But I'm hearing use your intuition about this person. Use your intuition and see how you feel in a few days, really. I mean, this to me has, has a lot about cycles. So I feel like sometimes the energy has to be just right. I feel like they're being brought to you for a reason. I do feel like it is to clear up things from the past. One of you may have been um, unfaithful and that might need to come out. That's what this has to do with too, or might've been hiding things that need to come out now. And we've got the world. So to me, that feels like this will be sort of a completed cycle for the two of you. So you may need to have this reconnect to let go of things from the past. And this person is the only person that can help you heal. Even if you're not meant to last with this person or it's short lived or, you know, you do, you do, maybe you will. It's meant for you guys to both heal from this. Yeah, because in the past there was definitely betrayal and it left some scars here is what I'm feeling. That's, that's exactly what I'm feeling. Let's, let's dip into sort of the context of your relationship with the sake, with the sacred geometry of relationships cards let's see yeah we've got transformation this person is supposed to help you transform that old energy i feel like since this person was out of your life you were carrying around sort of like this lump of sadness and this fear to commit maybe again you don't want to get hurt again because you were betrayed there's definitely a little bit of chip on the shoulder there i feel like for them too they they just didn't go about things gracefully but yeah you're supposed to transform making room sort of for the new the new energy to come in and we've got strength the frequency of strength supports our ability to harmonize all of our qualities and skills towards a strong balanced way of being so this taught you strength and balance definitely and it's to me justice it feels like justice will sort of be re restored here or something like that i'm getting that like a justice thing like you're gonna get your justice you're gonna get your truth i feel like you need this so badly it's it's part of like closure and even if it's closure just to start over with this person you definitely need it yeah look we've got surrender the energy of surrender supports us to let go of illusionary control and yield to the flow of love and life it's to let you sort of trust again you can sort of mend these wounds of the past okay so let's see soul to soul what are they saying to you you know maybe what is their heart saying to your heart love makes the difference love helps heal past her. come on <laughs> you see me shuffling right this happens all the time love heals past her hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth I don't know how perfect that is, but this person is bringing sort of like apologetic energy. And again, look at this. She wants to be heard. So it's this being heard. You're going to get your chance. It's going to happen. It's going to clarify lots of things for you, and it's going to help you release a lot of negatives. It's This is beautiful. All right, what else is their heart saying to your heart? treasure your loved ones it is important to love others deeply okay so maybe this taught you about connecting with people you're closer to and that sort of helped you get through this the first round i guess spirit is wanting to convey don't let go of those people you may need them they were good they were helpful to you i also feel like this has to do with them sort of treasuring you they didn't realize it until you were gone and then the last is like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. So it was teaching you to be a little bit more loving. So let's see what the angels have to say here about this. You know, what, what about the future of this connection? What can we expect for the future of this connection? It's up to you. So what I'm getting is this person is coming in with an apologetic energy, okay? They do want to make this up to you. They do feel bad about it. You will have an 
intense, intense, lengthy discussion about things of the past. It's going to help you heal. I'm hearing from spirit, use your intuition and feel things out, but it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing to reconnect and try to build again. Okay. If that's what you want to do, we're getting, it's up to you. I hope that that was helpful guys. Let's get on to the second card now. So the second card, if you chose two, oh, we've got the road. Interesting. So to me, this feels like a new road possibly. So if you've reconnected with somebody, is this the fact that you're going to start again brand new with, with this old person? Okay. Is it also that you may be in your own way, you're on your own new path and new road and this person sort of popped up on this road here? I feel like you don't know where this leads. There's no way of knowing, right? You just sort of have to have faith that everything is going as planned, no matter what obstacles pop up or what people pop up from the past. But I feel like this person and you may be on the road to healing or it could be on the road to just forget it, we're done. So we're gonna pull some cards in and we're gonna see what else we get here. But that's more or less what it could be to me. I feel like this is the road that we don't know where it leads. So let's see a little bit of what the past was like with this person and if they've come back now and, and what type of, you know, energy and tensions are they feeling. In the past, in the past, let's see what we've got. In the past, I feel like there was a little bit of laziness. Somebody couldn't act on their feelings or act fully on their feelings or they sort of dropped the ball. Sort of dropped the ball. Maybe they're feeling like, you know, they, they couldn't do the distance. They might have felt like not putting the work into the relationship. They might have felt like they needed a lot of alone time and a lot of space in their own life, a lot of rest and rejuvenation. I also feel like this is a time where they're sort of resurfacing. They're, they're being born out of an old energy into a new energy. So I feel like they've had a lot of time to sort of sit and think about this. You might have not known that, but they were, they were sitting and thinking about this in you. They're looking back on that time, reconnecting with you is making them feel nostalgic, but they also know that they made mistakes and they feel bad because they were inactive. They were not active enough for you. They weren't pushing towards a future or goals for the future. They were just sort of like sitting around, I feel like. I feel like they didn't have motivation for the relationship is what I'm hearing from spirit. And I also feel like it was not the best structures. Like you both might have thought that it was better structured than it really was. And it was almost like a shock when you found out that it wasn't. And I feel like it, you buried yourself very deep sort of in, um, you know, reminiscing and everything. But I feel like you also had to like sort of drown this out, almost like dreaming. Like it almost felt like you, you were dreaming and you woke up to like this crazy situation or, or almost like this nightmare situation in the past. Um... That's what I'm feeling. We've also got the fool's energy. So I feel like somebody was afraid to commit. It could have been you afraid to commit, but I feel like more so because we're speaking of another person, this is more so me feeling like they were afraid to commit. I feel like they just needed their freedom. It's not that they didn't love you or care. They just are very sort of like lackadaisical. I feel like they almost have like ADHD. Like they're very distracted easily. They, you know, they just kind of float through life. They're not really settled anywhere particular. I feel like that was their energy. Okay, let's see what else we're getting. Yeah, we've got sort of like a walking away. So I feel like they might have been detached from their emotions when they were separating from you. They might have just been very detached emotionally. They might have had to do this to sort of keep their sanity. I mean, it's almost like a weird kind of emotional cop-out I want to call it but I feel like they also thought at some point they can come back to you and I do feel like this left a huge void in their life but they tried to ignore it they just weren't sure what to do I feel like they felt like they were going to disappoint you they feel like they did you a favor by walking away kind of or not giving you the proper attention you would just sort of get disgusted and just go away that could be that too it could have been you just got disgusted and sort of packed up shop and left and then thought, you know, maybe someday I'll come back to this. Yeah, we sort of got this, like, despair energy, this sadness, this deep despair. So I don't know if, you know, they, they just left and there was some abandonment triggered here. Or if they went on to something, you know, new and they just sort of left you behind. Or it could be you're the one that left and left them behind. Um, but I feel like that's what was needed at the time is what I'm hearing from spirit, okay? 
got the Empress. They look back at you extremely fondly. They feel a great deal of love towards you. They see you as this nurturing, beautiful, creative, loving, kind, caretaker type person. They still see you that way. So let's see, what is their heart saying to your heart? Let's, what, what is their heart saying to your heart? Let me just shuffle these quick, guys. What is their heart saying to your heart? These cards are sticky. Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. So I feel like this could go either way. It could be that you're thinking about how the love relationship was with this person, wanting it to sort of be that way again, like going back to that. And I feel like there's a lot of going back to the way they treated you was good. There was a lot of good. And I feel like towards the end, you both may have overlooked the good and focused only on the bad. I also feel like Spirit is telling you to make sure you're doing what you love at this time because if you're not, you may get trapped in a repeat pattern. Like you might just basically repeat the past with this person. I feel like there was a major issue with you needing to do what you love and know what you love and be in an energy of happiness for yourself without relying on uh, another person to, to provide that to you. I also feel like they feel this way too. They feel like they didn't want to be you know, in a sad energy and relying on you to always make them happy. They didn't know how to make themselves happy. We've got do something for someone. Give your attention to another. So it could be that they're seeking your attention here. You know, I feel like you almost, it would almost be like you're doing them a favor. But they feel very deeply. They just, in the past, I feel like they were very wishy-washy and almost like in fantasy land. So you might have taken your attention away because of that. But I'm getting all the people in your life that surround this connection, you're supposed to just show gratitude for the people that you've had to help you out through this, if that makes any sense. I also don't know if you're connected to another person in this time and you're dating or engaged or married to somebody else and this person is trying to come back and you're just kind of like, well, I got to, you know, maintain my life here and I just am not sure what to do. Let's see what else we've got. What is their heart saying to your heart? I love you. Wow. So they never stopped loving you. That's what it is. When we saw that card sort of with the big hole in the sky over here, look, this is the void. This is you. This is the void. And regardless of what happened, they just feel very, they still feel very much a lot of love for you. They never stop loving you, okay? Whether you're with someone else or they're with someone else and you've reconnected briefly and maybe having that opportunity to talk or speak this, I feel like you both need this. I feel like there is a sense to me that one of you might lead the other on in these energies at this time. So just sort of like exercise caution. Let's look at the relationship, sacred geometry of relationships right now for the context of what this relationship is and also going forward. We've got romantic love. The frequency of romantic love supports our experience to know ourselves through the reflection of a conscious lover. This person still loves you. They want to be with you again. They want to have back what you both had together. And we've got surrender. The energy of surrender supports us to go let go of illusionary thinking and control. Yes. So I feel like spirits like just surrender to this a little bit. Give it a chance because there's something about you were not over this either. So there might be some things left unsaid or things that still need to be done between you and this person. And the energy hasn't settled down yet. And we've also got honest. Honesty. The energy of honesty supports our choice to be courageously truthful and genuine. So you may have an issue, maybe you're seeing someone else, like I keep saying, and you might need to be honest about all of this. Or you weren't honest in the past or weren't given the opportunity to be honest in the past and you're going to be given that chance. Same thing with them for you. They were not honest either about some things in the past. That there's going to be this big, like, sort of transition energy when, when you can speak to each other without fear. All right, that's what I'm hearing from spirit. It's going to be genuine and it's going to be 
very beneficial to clear, sort of clear the air is what I'm hearing. So let's see what else we've got sort of from major energy moving forward. And then we'll go with an angel card. We've got courage. Yeah, so it, I feel like it's going to take some of that to sort of go through some of these issues that you had with this person in the past. I feel like they do need to be cleared up. I also feel like this is going to do wonders for your self-esteem. New supportive connections. Could be that you rejuvenate. You could rejuvenate this connection. I feel like you have a lot of good, loving, supporting people around you. That just keeps coming up. Sometimes spirit, we're talking about love relationships. The spirit's like, I have to just mention that this person has a lot of good people around them. So that's what spirit's trying to bring to your attention. Um, and we've also got conscious of lack. So, you know, this person too, in the past, they may have just always felt like something was missing. Even if they had you and had it all with you, I feel like they had issues with that. It could be that you felt that way too, but I'm getting more that... I feel like they had issues with this. They always were worried about what they didn't have and not showing the gratitude for what they did have. So let's see what the angels say here about the future of this connection and how to proceed. We've got to know. Interesting. So this person could still love you, right? Like we were saying in the beginning. But I feel like this card says it all. They still have this energy of this conscious of lack, like what they don't have. It's almost like they're angry at what they're missing. They are looking sort of at like other people's lives, feeling like other people have more than they have. I feel like they're always worried about they didn't make it past this goal and it makes them feel like crap. So I feel like Spirit's kind of trying to tell you that their energy hasn't changed much yet because they're still in that something's missing energy. It's sort of like, because I do think this card is super important, it's sort of like melancholy, like this constant melancholy. They also feel like missing you, they almost feel better missing you than they do if they have you, because then if they have you, they're going to go into this energy again of this conscious of lack. I feel like they want perfection, and perfection doesn't exist. That's what I'm getting here. They're always worried about money. They sort of have like this woe is me attitude. They always feel sort of restricted, uh, frustrated. They're always dealing with loss. I feel like spirits like you, you don't need to, you know, sort of reinvent this relationship at all. It is what it is. You might just need to get your closure with this person. So, you know, we've got to know better to know than to waste time. Right, guys, better to know than to get hurt, you know, or try to you know, fall into something that's, you know, maybe unhealthy again or not the best for your energy. We've got a peaceful resolution. Yeah, so there you go. Pretty much spirit is like, angel spirit is like, you know, you just have to clear the air with this person so you can have peace. I hope that this was helpful, guys. Please let me know what you think. Check my description box for links for my private reading information if you'd like something more personalized. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Love and light to you all. Lizzie the Lightworker.